Hi, I'm Jennifer Beatty Yen with the Film Lab, and today, Film Lab and AFL TV presents to you the best of the 72 hour shootout. So, you guys already know Film Lab. You know we offer events in New York ranging from screenings to seminars to workshops to QAs, everything. And you can check out our calendar of events at film lab.org. But what is the 72 hour shootout? Well, the 72 Hour Shootout is an annual filmmaking competition that we run every year with Asian Cinevision and the Asian American International Film Festival. We've had great judges from hip hop icon Russell Simmons to the executive director of casting at ABC, Marcy Phillips. And what's the catch here? Well, the catch is that filmmakers have only 72 hours within which to write, cast, shoot, direct, edit, and score a film. It sounds like a monumental task, I know. But our filmmakers are pretty amazing, as I think you will see. So now, the best of the 72-hour shootout, and the films are based on this common theme. I would get comments like, you're going to get into acting now when you're retiring? People would take trips and wouldn't invite me because they didn't know if I had a passport or not, or could leave the country. Well, somebody on the subway actually asked me if I was Chinese, and I said, no, I'm Filipino. And he said, but you do speak Chinese, don't you? If you never see an Asian woman playing a non-Asian role, then that's what you perceive to be reality, whether you're Asian or not. When I was a kid, I was in a department store with my mom. I was walking around, and I walked past an older white woman, and she clutched her purse like I was a guy off the street. I was a little kid. I think that stereotypes inhibit all of us from achieving our goals. They're problematic because people believe them, so they believe that we can't do it. And then they're problematic because we see them and we believe them and we believe we can't do it. When I hear the splishy splashing of pool water, I will remember Jake. We will remember him. When I see an amateur swimmer hanging on to a noodle, we, we will remember, remember Jake. When I see a swimmer's goggles too fogged up to see straight, <laughs> we, we will remember, remember Jake. Jake. Hmm. An unintended belly flop. <laughs> When someone screams, Where in tarnation is my kickboard? We will remember Good morning. Good morning. And welcome Good morning. to this gathering to remember our friend, Jake John. Known to most of his friends as Jellyfish Jake. <laughs> Husband to Joanne, father to David, and friend to the common man. I am Pastor Melinda Mark. The unthinkable has transpired. He should have never dove in the shallow end. But rather than mourn his death, we celebrate his life. Finish the sounds and smells of Jake's favorite place. The swimming pool. Let's honor Jake as we take in this time. I don't know why Dad couldn't have a regular funeral like other people. I'm really going to miss Jake. I mean, what an original. Of all the father-in-laws I could have had, he was unique. Oh, I love Jake. He was a great husband to my childhood buddy, Joanne. But I'm not looking forward to what's coming up. Even if we had practiced every day, I don't think it would have been enough time. I don't know how many times I told that man, I don't care how well you're doing in swim class. No swimming without a lifeguard. To the memory of our dear Jennifer. Trust that he'll be welcomed at the pearly gates where there is always adult swim and there's an eternal lifeguard on duty. Mm -hmm. Now, although Jake took up swimming late in life, 
We love the water. A little too much. Now, although lesser men might say 57's a little late to be learning to swim, Jake was determined to be an expert swimmer. My father-in-law always dreamt of being a synchronized swimmer. So, to honor him, we're going to synchronize swim to Love Will Keep Us Together. Led by the love of his life, his wife, Joanne. He loved that captain and to me. <laughs> right, he did. Now this coming together of the people he loved the most and who loved him is a chance to say farewell to Jake and send him on his journey. Though we will miss having him here physically, whenever we see pool water or get little chlorine in our nose or even take to the pool ourselves, we can smile at the recollection of Jake and his antics. I will never forget his signature quip. Round here, we don't skinny dip, we plumby jump. <laughs> and dooby dobby. <laughs> Let us all be remembered to love one another as if it was our last day. Now, as requested by Jake, we shall now hear the 23rd song. Of course. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. The waters are still now, but not for long. Joanne, you follow your lead. Hello, doctor. Do you recognize her? What about this one? like it. Do you have a good sleep? Not with all your snoring. I better get used to it. You know it's gonna kill you. What? No, these. Oh. What's going on? What? Just think of all the side effects of the drugs I'm selling. Heart attack, stroke, diarrhea. These things are terrible for you. Yeah, it's terrible. It's like those herpes commercials where everyone is so smiley and robotic. Like, thanks to Protozoa, no anyone without worry can have sex with the whole football team. Possible side effects is suicidal thoughts, explosive diarrhea, and a third nipple. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Baby, 
I'm very proud of you. You're helping people. Thank you. Oh, I didn't know. I tried to save her. Let me go. Please, let me go. What's the matter with you? Let me go. I'm a doctor. You're not a doctor. You're a salesman. Please, doctor. Let me go. Please, let me go. Please, let me go. I what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Empathy. Empathy. That's enough! That was your daughter! That was my Layla! I want everyone to know what it's like to watch her die. And to know we can save her! These labels! These labels! They're killing people! You took an oath to do no harm! It said you sold them out! I learned from you. You don't want to cure anyone. You just want to sell more drugs. It's over. It's over. Let him go. We have to fix this. You have to fix this. Fix what? The system. The system. Bonjour, hater raiders of the world. Today is the day I'm gonna find myself a roommate. A lady roommate. I figured out the algorithm, we're gonna make history. I have five questions to find the perfect roommate. Five questions. Oh, hey. here, here. Hey. Hi. What's up? Is this going on the internet? Um. No. Yeah. No. Have no, a nice you'll day. Get more you comfortable. <laughs> All right, hater raiders. Um, that girl, <laughs> she sucks. Second girls here now. Um, it'll go better this time. The first one can't let too soon. This one should be good. Hey! Hi. How You're here to interview, right? Yeah, yeah. You all right? Yeah, so nice. Take a seat. Okay. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Are you a director? Yeah. One second. Do you mind if I put this name tag on you? Not at all. And it's Hope with one of you, right? Yeah. <laughs> I changed my name actually a little while awesome. back. I wanted something like. Positive, you know? Yeah. Cool. Anyway. So, um, I'm just gonna ask you five questions because, uh, this is for my blog, uh, hateratparade.com. Uh, Question one, what do you do? Face painting and balloon making recently. I love water sports too. Yeah, um, all right. What are your hobbies? Oh, I'm in a ceramics class right now. Oh. I'm making a giant ashtray, like as big as me. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Do you have a boyfriend? I date people, but I don't really into like monogamy or anything like you know. any possibilities like whatever exactly yeah. Thing. Yeah. yeah uh question four have you ever lived with an asian guy so i started working at a hostel part-time and staying in one of the rooms as sort of an exchange thing and in the room were it was me and two asian guys and we hit it off so well wow okay okay yeah um all right uh from <laughs> From everything you've seen here and like from talking to me, uh, how would you describe me? 
Hmm. Connected. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not just feeling this. You're feeling this. Yeah. Right now, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So much Can I keep my yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You saw that with your eyes live happening in my apartment. Ugh. You guys watched the vlog. You guys remember, like, I don't know. Fuck it, whatever. He was my roommate, and then, like, and then he just left me for some girl. Ugh. You know what? I'm just, I'm just glad that, you know, you guys are here to see this all. Last one for today. Um, let's keep the magic going. Um, really excited with it. So, <sighs> hey, what's up? I'm really sorry about um, the. The name CJ. Yeah. Um, Wild Bump Space, and then that's your room. I don't have a door for you right now, but uh, the curtain is pretty good. Action. Just gonna ask you some questions to see if we're compatible as roommates. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I was hoping you'd sit here, but yeah, you can do that. Are you one of my followers? I have over 3,000 or 2,500 or whatever. You want me to take that shot? I'll take that shot, whatever. One. What are you doing? got people lying up out the door. They see me now. They see me now like they didn't see me before. Like they didn't see me before. There you are. Are your parents most here? We've got that 12.30 reservation yeah, and... They're, they're just outside parking the car. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, hey. They're gonna love you. Okay? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. You should go change. Um, I think you guys actually might be looking for apartment 4B down the hallway. No, where? Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, come on in, please. You must be the roommate. We've heard so much about you. Yes, I've heard plenty about you guys as well. Please, I'll get you something to drink. We're very proud of you. You're ready to move on to the next stage of your life now. 
we're very happy that you also already have a job offer. Just remember to put away at least 30% of your paycheck. You've blossomed into such a beautiful woman. And Listen, I know it hasn't been easy for you growing into a woman while focusing on your studies. You've probably had a lot of distractions. You've probably dated. You've probably had sex. Safe sex, I hope. Just make sure you always use protection. Well, the safest sex of all is saving yourself for marriage. Ugh, listen, you're an adult now. Living on your own, free to do whatever you want. Some nights you'll go out, some nights you'll meet boys. Just don't rely on them for the condoms. Make sure you have some in your own stash. <clears throat> but only to use in a committed relationship with the right man. Wow. <sighs> Well, um, the thing is, I am in a committed relationship. So, lunch? <laughs>